Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back with another video. And in this video, I'll teach you guys how you can create a collection carousel slider for your Shopify store. So if you have a Shopify store, you're a store owner, you're a merchant, or if you are a developer trying to create a carousel slider for collection in Shopify store, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm giving you a complete section all you have to do is just copy the code, add it to your store, and you will have all of the functionalities of this cool carousel slider without using any app. You don't have to pay me anything. You don't have to pay for any app. All you have to do is just follow this video and make sure to subscribe this channel because if you do that, it will help us create more free sections and free tutorial for you guys. So let me show you how this collection carousel slider is going to look like. So as you can see on my screen, that's my collection carousel slider. And if we take a look at the mobile version, that's how it's going to look. By default, Dawn theme comes with this type of featured collection review where it's not actually a slider, it's just laid out in the stack format. And if you look at it in the mobile version, that's how it looks in the mobile version. But after following this tutorial, you will have a slider with the arrows and you'll be able to do a lot of customization with your theme customizer without using any codes. You don't have to learn any code. All you have to do is just follow this tutorial. By the way, guys, if you're watching this channel for the first time, I have created multiple sections for free. So as you can see on my screen, I have this video, which is continuously running on autoplay. This autoplay video feature is not available in free themes. You can add it for theme. Link will be in the description for this video, which I've already created. Also, there's a really cool tutorial for the mega menu where you can add animated images for your mega menu on your Shopify store multiple other sections which I have created. Also recently, I have created a complete beginner tutorial. So if you are a merchant or if you have a physical store and you are trying to create your online presence with Shopify and you don't have any knowledge, then to start from the scratch, I have created an hour plus video for the step-by-step -step guidance of you. So you can create it without needing any developer. You can do it all on your own and you don't need any developer and you don't need to pay any hefty amount to any agency. But if you're still looking for help with your Shopify store, let us know in the comments below or there's a link in the description through which you can contact us if you need any customization help or if you need any conversion rate optimization help, we would love to help you. Okay, let's carry on with the tutorial. The feature which we'll be getting in this collection carousel slider are in the theme customizer. So that's the section which I'll show you how you can add. It will be called collection slider. And we have the option to add margin top. So if I just increase the margin top, you can see that it's adding an additional space on top, right? So you don't need any code knowledge. All will be in your theme customizer. You can select an entire collection to display here. So I've currently selected all products as my collection to display the products in this carousel slider. Alternatively, what you can do is you can select the products here. So if you just want to show five or six products, you can simply select the products from here and then click on select. Multiple other options which we have here is we can also display our product as stack products. So if you don't want a slider, you can do that. But obviously you would want to have the slider because the stack product collection feature is already in the free themes. So I'm just going to uncheck that. And this is the progress bar, which you're seeing on the bottom. You can enable and disable that. Similarly, we have this top position bar and we can select how many products we want to show. So we can also display 50 products in the slider. I don't have 50 products in the store, so it's not going to show the 50 products. I just have maybe 10 or 12 products in this development store and we can select how many product per row we want to display. So let's reduce it. Now it's displaying the four products. 
three products, but I like the five products. And this is for the mobile settings. So it can also display one product in mobile or 1.3, meaning it will show a piece of the second product. So let me show you what that mean. So here are the two products showing up. When I click on 1.3, you can see it's showing one product and 25% of the second product. In some cases it looks cool, but it completely depends on your own preference. I personally like this two one where I can see two products in the mobile version. Okay, let's go back to the desktop version. Here we have the image border radius option. So as you can see, I have only this image has this gray background. All of these images does not have any background and that's why it doesn't show the border radius. But uh, to display the border radiance, you have this option to use box shadow. So you can use this box shadow and display this border radius, right? And we have image height for desktop. We have this for mobile version. And we can also add heading on top here. So and for that heading, we can display custom font if you want to. So here is the option to select the custom font. And let's add carousel slider as heading. And if I want to have the custom font, I can simply select this check mark to display the custom font. And we can change the heading size. We have the header letter spacing. And we can also have the subheading. So subheading is currently center align. We can align it left and right. Sorry, this is for the subheading text alignment. And here you go. You can see now it's displaying as left alignment. And here we have the option of view all. So this is the button to display. If you want to display products of, of this collection and you can simply link this collection. I'm going to link my all products collection here. So if someone click on this view all, it's going to take them to this collection page. I'm going to remove these two headings because I personally don't like to have uh, headings, but in some cases you might want to add these headings. So we have this option available, which you can add. Also this uh, image box border radius is not looking good. So I'm going to remove that as well. Again, it's an option for you to add, but it completely depends on your own preference, whether you like it or not. Okay, looks better. Use card roundness. Okay, perfect. Border radius, let's reduce it to a little bit more. Border. Lots of option on this section. Perfect, 16 pixel looks much better. Okay, let's scroll down more and uh, we have gone through the subheading. We have gone through the view all settings. Below that we have card price, this font. So we can change this font. I have this as regular font. We can also change the size. And here's for arrow size. So if you hover over, you have this arrow showing up on the left and the right. You can change the arrow size. You can see that it's now 86 pixel looks uh, doesn't look good because it's very big. So I'm just going to move it to 40 pixel, which looks good. Okay, looks fine, right? And this is for the mobile version. So if you want to increase the arrow size only on mobile version, you can do that. You can also hide arrow on mobile, but just by checking mark on this. And here we have these colors showing up. So this is for the link and this is for the card. So this is for the card background color. Now you can see that we have this showing up as a gray, but let's remove that and let it be transparent. 
card title color, change it to something else. Yeah, but the black looks fine. Okay, so all of these are color settings. Again, these are the navigation colors. So we have this arrow, which is a navigation. We can change all of the colors. And here's again the section colors, section margin, and few other settings. We can also display that as a full width section. So now you can see that it's a full width section and we have this products coming from the left, from the right side, right? From the right to left. Okay, uh, let's hit save. And now I'm gonna show you guys how you can add this on your Dawn 15.1.0, which is the latest version as of now. Also, it's going to work completely fine on all of the paid themes, free themes. So whatever theme you're using, it's going to work completely fine because it's a complete section and you don't have to edit any already existing files on your theme. You just have to add an additional section by simply copying and paste. And this is the code. And this is completely freely available. Link in the description. All you have to do is just click on copy code and add the section. And let me show you how I'm, I am going to do that on uh, my Shopify development store. So here's my themes. I'm going to stall the fresh dawn theme. So let's click on art. Again, you can do this on spotlight, refresh, sense, craft, any free themes, or even if you have paid theme, you can stall that. Okay. Now click on art. And our dawn 15.1.0 is being stalled. Guys, why this theme is being stalled? If you are a new Shopify merchant and if you want to sign up for your store for just $1 a month, there's a link in the description through which if you sign up, you will get your store for just $1 a month, three day free trial. And if you sell just for $3,000 a month of merchandise on your store, your Shopify subscription fees will be completely uh, refunded from Shopify. So that's a new scheme which they have added. So make sure to use the link in the description and sign up to your new Shopify store. Okay. Let's get back to the tutorial. We have Dawn 15.1.0 added. Now I'm going to click on publish. Click on publish again. And now let's preview the theme. I'm going to close the old tabs here. Right. And here's the default Dawn theme. Cool. Now let's go back here. Click on these three small dots and then click on edit code. Okay, after editing the code, scroll down here. Here we have the section folder. Click on this small arrow here. Click on add a new section. And then I'm going to name it collection carousel. And then click on done. Perfect. Remove all of the current code, which is already there. And go to the blog post link in the description. Click on this blue color copy code button, which will copy all of the code below that. And then simply paste the code here. Perfect. After pasting the code, hit save. And that's it. We have our section ready to go, ready to be added. Now let's try it out. Um, I'm going to click on these three small dots and then click on customize theme. Open that in a new tab. Okay, now let's add a section. So click on add section here and then scroll down and here you have this collection carousel. Click on that. And now let's click on collection carousel and select the collection. So here we'll select the collection. You can also select the products. Let's select the collection for now. So I'm going to click on all products, click on select and then hit save. And here you go. You have your collection carousel slider showing up. And we have already gone through all of the settings. So I'm not going to go back to that part again. Okay, that's it for the video, guys. That's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what more you would like to learn. Until next video, have a great day.